we just saw in uh, your Facebook page that you usually uh, give uh, some uh, demos to your audience and you ask them to choose which one you would like to finish. Why yeah. you do that? Yeah, How did you take this idea? Um, the this reason idea why, like, um, uh, we have a new project, I have a new project called Involve and um, I want to share my, my drafts with my fans, like 30 second drafts of new ideas uh, of music, uh, a lot of different kind of genres. I want to, uh, to, to, to give it to the fans and let them decide which draft I'm gonna finish. So uh, the fans are like, oh cool, you know, it's, it's like uh, they can decide what kind of track I'm going to release the next week. And um, yeah, so what, what I said is a uh, different kind of genres. It's, it's uh, because of a lot of labels, but they have their own sound, right? And I want to do some different kind of sounds. And that's the reason why I want to, to do this project, like involve the fans and make my own kind of sound and do it together with them and release it every week. And, and do you see that the fans like that? Do they respond positively on that? Yeah, I, I, it was a actually it was a bit of a surprise. I didn't uh, I didn't expect it to be uh, so big because a lot of fans react to it and a lot of fans say, oh, you should finish this one or that one. And the reactions to the new tracks are also really good. And yeah, it's it's better than that I hoped for because I'm starting a new genre. I'm doing a new genre right now and uh, what uh, kind of new genre? Uh, you can call it a hybrid of like trap, future bass, and progressive house. Oh. Like the, the kind of pro progressive house that I made, uh, Typhoon, Evolve, uh -huh. like those kind of tracks. But I'm with a different kind of drum rhythm, a different kind of vibe, and that's oh. what I'm really into. Because eight years ago I started making hip hop, and I'm I'm feeling uh, that I'm going back to my roots. Right and do you feel that the crowd responds positively when you play that kind of style in yeah. your DJ sets? So, so um, for now I'm still playing a lot of progressive house and I'm ending my sets with maybe three or four tracks of the new genre. And if what I've uh, what I've seen in the, in the last months is that people react great to it because uh, I think people recognize the melodies and the chord structures and they really like that I, and I can see it um, yeah, in the front row that people are like, oh really, this is a Junior Color track and yeah, that's, that's the best feeling for me. So, yeah. How it I feels to be part of the family of Hardwell? Oh wow, it's, it feels like an honor because you know, the Revealed, the Revealed family and the Revealed label has such quality music and I'm feeling really uh, honored to be part of that. Yeah. And uh, how it happens and you became part of them? Did you just send a demo? Or? Yeah, just just like a lot of other people, I just sent a demo to their email address and uh, I got a couple of emails from them like, oh, we want to maybe maybe want to sign this or maybe we want to sign this for the Talent EP. And uh, I sent some other tracks and they, they played it on Hardwell on Air. And uh, Hardwell seemed to like it and then it all started. So. Uh, um, my first release was on the Talent EP, it was called Space Dial, and a couple of months later I released my first uh, single, oh no, it was an EP, Typhoon, Storm, and that was the moment when it uh, really went off. So, and yeah, and you have developed. Uh, how it feels to play in a, such a wonderful festival like Greenfield? It feels like an honor because Greenfield, you know, the vibe is always good. This, this, the, the vibe of Greenfields is always good. People are going nuts from the beginning to the end. And the, uh, the fact that I'm in the same lineup as really big names like Kelvin Harris, and like Chesto Martin Garrix and stuff, that's also really awesome. So yeah, feels How like How things are going now in Holland? Do you think it's still the epicenter of electronic dance music? In Holland? Yeah. Um, I think uh, still a lot of big DJs are uh, in Holland the biggest in the world. Like. Like you know, Hardwell and Armin van Buren and stuff, but uh, there's also a lot of American DJs and uh, DJs from other countries that are getting really big. And there are f a few, a few. There, are, there are a couple of Dutch DJs that are really innovating at the moment. So I think Holland is still a big, big player in the EDM scene. I'm very, very proud to be a part of that. What other events have you played except Creamfields this summer? I've played. It was a, a busy summer for you. Yeah, it was uh, Ushuaia. I've played in Ushuaia. Uh, and uh, also the review party, playing a lot of gigs in Holland and uh, playing uh, in uh, uh, Indonesia next month and uh, yeah, Belgium, Germany, Bose House was really, really good party. So yeah, 
tight schedule. So. What about the Amsterdam dance event? Are you going to perform there? I um, I don't know yet. It's not confirmed yet, but I'm definitely going to be there, be at every party, just chill there with everyone. Because Amsterdam dance event is always a great uh, time to you know to meet other other people. Thank you so much for this wonderful interview. We wish you all the best. And Thank you. Uh, I'm sure that you are going to make it. Thanks. When you want to innovate, you always are one step ahead of the others. That's true. That's a good saying. <laughs>